In the past, whenever I tried to set some resolutions at the beginning of a new year, I was always pretty pumped up at first, thinking that by having these intentions and resolutions to hold on to, I was going to live my best year ever. Looking back though, whenever I was setting some resolutions, I was basically setting myself up for failure. After the initial hype and motivation faded, I was going back to the usual habits and routines that I was trying to fix or improve in the first place, only to find myself every December with the baggage of failures and yet again unreached goals, and lots of hope for the year ahead. Basically, it was an endless vicious cycle. Luckily, I have let go of the expectations built around resolutions a long time ago. But I guess that a part of me has always been hopeful that each new year would finally be the year of my ultimate glow up. After the year that I consider to be the most challenging for me on a personal level, I want to adopt a different strategy. Last year, I've come across a video here on YouTube by Rowena Tsai, where she talks about how creating systems rather than setting hard goals is the one habit that has changed her life. A system is a process that leads to results, whereas a goal is a result that you want to achieve. The point of creating a system is to go from the current state to the desired one by assessing the why, the how, and the what. I highly recommend you checking her video if you haven't already, because it's so well explained and it will blow your mind. The link to it is in the description box below. If creating system leads me to real results, well, I should work on that. I should acknowledge the difficulties that I deal consistently with and implement practical ways and systems to improve the situation and achieve real results instead of making a list of generic goals and soon lose interest or motivation because the goals seem too far to reach. So, in this spirit, I want to A, start being kinder, more compassionate and more forgiving to myself when something doesn't pan out as hoped or planned, or simply when adjustments are necessary, and B, I should always keep in mind the guidelines that I've set for this year to live more simply but more happily and mindfully. While I do believe that it's important to check in with ourselves and make periodical resets, the beginning of a new year always feels like a fresh new start and a perfect chance to make a reset in our lives. So without further ado, here's how I'm planning to reset this year. These are my guidelines for 2022, the core points that will help me create systems for a better life. 1. Make time only for what is essential and get rid of the unnecessary. If something, anything, material, digital, and or emotional is weighing you down, you should do without it. No day should be spent taking care of something that is not a priority nor a benefit for you. 2. Procrastination is the number one enemy of a clutter-free life. If it takes you one minute or so to do it, do it right away. 3. 10k a day. It's okay if you're not a sporty person, but keep in mind that 10,000 steps a day are a good thing for your body and your mind. Walk and move as much as you can and enjoy doing it. Don't do it because you have to, but because you want to. Four, love yourself and your body. The way you treat your body reflects the opinion that you have of yourself. You should nourish your body and soul in any way that feels good whilst you prioritize your health first and foremost. Five, it's okay if you don't check all of the boxes every day. It is not about getting more things done, but getting the right things done. And you're only human after all, so some days will naturally be less 
than others. Six, focus on yourself and your own journey. Comparing yourself to others doesn't make sense and doesn't bring you anything good because you are you and not other people. Seven, less social media are always a good idea. Social media can be a huge depletion of time and energy. Again, make time for what is essential and always bring a book with you, just in case, or a notebook and pen, so the temptation to scroll on social media will be replaced by something constructive like writing or reading. Eight, brain dumps. Your life is always a reflection of how you feel. A cluttered, scattered life comes from a cluttered, scattered mind. Get rid of those mental toxins by making lists, brain dumps, and letting your thoughts flow freely on paper. This will help you reset and organize, prioritize, and think more clearly. If you can do this every morning, it's a win-win. If not, as often as you can. Nine. You don't always need big chunks of time to get things done. And you don't have to do everything at once, but a little bit each day can still lead to great results. Do what you can now. 10. Money doesn't grow on trees. Find active and effective ways to save as much as you can so you can use your money in a truly mindful way. Every cent that you have earned or saved, you have worked for it. So honor this and spend your money wisely. If there's any way you can save some more money, even if just a little bit, go for it. Do you have any mantras or guidelines for 2022? Do you believe in resolutions? I'm curious to know. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. I wish you all a happy new year.